So hello everybody. In this video I'll be learning how to label a triangle. So when we are labeling a triangle, we label it in order going in an anti-clockwise direction. And we use uppercase letters for the vertex and lowercase letters for the sides. The letters I'll use to label this triangle is A, B, and C. So for this vertex, I'll use uppercase A. For this vertex, uppercase B. And for this vertex, uppercase C. The side opposite to each vertex would be the lowercase to the letter at the vertex. So this side will be side A lowercase a and this side here will be lowercase b and this side will be lowercase c so right here will be angle a angle b will be here and angle c will be here so that is how we would label a triangle however a right angle triangle can be labeled in another way so here would be the right angle and, the, and of course the right angle would be the biggest side in a right angle triangle and the side opposite to the right angle triangle would be the longest side and it will be called the hypotenuse and for the other side it can be labeled as side one And side two. However, as I this this arrow here, this box here that represents the right angle, can serve as a arrow, as an arrow pointing to the hypotenuse. If we have an angle right here. We could label this as adjacent because it's beside the angle. Because we would know if this angle is not here yet, we are given this angle. This would be adjacent because it's beside the angle. And this would be opposite because this would be opposite. Because it's across from the angle, so it's opposite to the angle. So you might see the triangle labeled as hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. And we would go into this when we are doing trigonometry. Our Pythagoras theorem. As I said, the larger side is normally opposite to the larger angle. So it would the hypotenuse being ten. None of these sides can be greater than ten. Because the largest angle is the right angle so none of these sides can be greater than 10 because both of these angles are less than the right angle so we'll say this angle will be this side will be 8 and this side is 6 so with that being said we'll go into Pythagoras theorem in another video thank you for watching
please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And more importantly, pay attention to the lessons. Thank you.